feel the spirit of my grandmother every day that I walk in here. For my Auntie Joan Prim, Marshall's Music and Bookstore is not just a source of family history, but also holds special memories, as the owner lays claim to being the oldest black-owned bookstore in the U.S. Oh, as a child, I used to come and play bookstore, and uh, just, I had a ball. <laughs> to me, Marshall's Music and Bookstore was Disneyland. The store has been an asset to the community since 1938. We have seen every kind of social and economic uh, phase of history that there is in the last um, almost century. Yeah, we're working on getting to 100 years. Prim says she's always excited for visitors to come by and learn something new about history or Mississippi. And this week, a group from the University of Washington made sure to stop by the historic business before leaving the city. To kind of to bear witness to the, the work that's happening, the investment, all of the energy and passion that um, shop owners like this one and uh, the people over at Bean Path are putting in so that they can really make change in their communities, take it back home, be inspired, and make the same type of change. And because of the impact it's had, Congressman Benny Thompson recognized Marshall's bookstore earlier this month. We're really, uh, we're so just enthused about that. We thought it was a wonderful honor, and that's something that he has given us this honor, and we're, we just can't thank him enough. And while Prim looks forward to the 100-year mark, she says it's now more important than ever to make sure we tell our stories and pass history on to the next generation. In Jackson, Kayla Thompson, 12 News.